But back to tie it at 76. What, what do you think stemmed or turned the momentum at that point? Uh, I mean, listen, I, I have no idea. Um, you know, we um, got got very close to uh, kind of turning it now, but they can't they continue to execute, continue to make shots, and um, we didn't make uh, many shots in that third quarter once we tied it up. Ryan, you guys got a ton of injuries. Everybody can see that. But what's your biggest area of concern right now? Our injuries. How trying has it been every night to go into a game with short Um. No, you listen. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, you uh, you got to want the most um, out of whoever you got on the floor, and you know, you want to get the most from whoever's playing. But you know, some you know sometimes you just can't overcome you know this many injuries that we have. I mean, we have uh, uh, pretty much five guys out of our top nine or top ten out of the rotation, or or you know, not playing because of injury. So um, you know, and it's and it's next man up, but sometimes you just fall short. Lakers seem to be a much improved team. What are your thoughts about that? Uh, I mean, since Luke took over, they've improved every single every, every single season, I think. And um, you know, you just try to implement that, you know, that ball movement, that body movement um, that he got when he was in when he was in Golden State. So. He had a hard time. The team did with Julius. With Julius Randle for that. What, what was? Uh, everybody's had a hard time with him as of late. When injuries are your biggest concern, can you judge progress at all? With what you have out on the floor right now? Um, can you judge what we have on the floor? Well, can you just um, judge understand. if you're heading in the right direction? I mean, you, you don't know. I mean, you don't know. You don't know. Is it uh, at all easier to accept these losses knowing this is not your no. team a month from now? No. Accept losses? Well, no. Uh, no. This is not the team we're going to see. Yeah. But I'll never accept a loss. It's not, it's not in my DNA. Back here at the play against your teammates, too. Uh, it was cool. Uh, definitely wanted to win, but uh, you know they played well tonight. Uh, great energy. Uh, you know it was a fun game to play. Did you like how the fans uh, cheered for you when you were introduced? Oh uh, yeah, it was a, a good feeling. You know, uh, coming back, playing. Uh, you know, them guys still showing support. It was uh, it was cool. Your team lost tonight, obviously, but what's your Cleveland experience been so far? Uh, it's been great. Um, you know, the city. Uh, it's been embracing it was my teammates and uh, you know it's been a uh, good transition for me. Julius had a career night tonight. Yeah, he did. He was uh he played well today, man. He's aggressive, um, scoring, rebounding, making plays. So it was definitely good to see him, uh, you know, have a good game like that. How strange is it being in the visitors' locker room? Um, it was a little strange, um, but it is what it is. <laughs> What's the most difficult part about playing, you know, mostly against your former team? Um, I mean, I wouldn't say anything crazy, but, um, you know, it was uh, definitely, you know, something in the air, I guess, you know, when to come in here. You know, in those games, it's either going to go really good or really bad. So, um, you know, it's just one of the nights. Giving those pregame hellos, like... Uh, it Julius. was cool. It was cool being able to see all of them. Uh, you know, being with those guys for a while. You know, my 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 career started here. So um, just being able to see everybody from uh, y'all media people to you know people, equipment man, Carlos, everybody. You know, it was cool to see everybody. When you walked in, did you get confused? Uh, nah, nah, nah. I mean, we was here last night or the night before, so uh, I knew where I was going. Did you see any other your ex teammates for dinner last night, lunch, or anything like that? Um, I seen them, um, what was it? Yeah, that was yesterday. Uh, a few of them. I know it hasn't been many games, but how has it been playing with a player like LeBron James? Um, you know, it's been awesome. You know, he creates shots for us, um, gets us going. Uh, unselfish superstar, so it's definitely been cool. Weird to be at a visit on that court. You see some of those guys yesterday? I uh, hung out with Josh a little bit. That's what what's, what's a Cleveland experience been like for you? Uh, a whole lot of fun. You know, it's uh, really cool getting to go back home and, and uh, you know, play with a, you know, contending team. And, and um, you know, I've enjoyed it this far. These guys told me before the game that uh, one of the favorite dunks they remember was the one over Durant for you. What do you remember about that? The one over what? Durant. Oh, um, no, it was a good one. Uh, it's always fun getting out in transition and 
and uh, you know I had, I had a had a bunch of bunch of fun ones here. Are you guys tied at seventy six? Uh, we couldn't get stops. You know, we were uh, breaking down defensively. You know, I think Julius got two or three and ones in a row, and uh, that kind of broke the game open. Yeah, Julius had a career night. What do you think of him overall? Uh, Julius, really, he, he's a he's a great player. You know, um, you know I made sure to made sure to tell him that after the game and everything. And um, you know, he's somebody that I'll definitely stay up with. Three uh, years ago today was Selection Sunday when you guys got to go to the NCAA tournament. That's what it was today. What do you remember about that week? Um, you know, it was, it was a dream come true at that time. You know, it was uh, you know, the first time, our, first time our school had been there in a while, so it was uh, a lot of fun. That, and how about the decision for you to stick around for that senior season and the records you set and the success you had at Wyoming? Um, wasn't necessarily a choice. I uh, tore my ACL my junior year, so I was coming back regardless. <laughs> yeah. I, I had, I've got good memories of that place and uh, go Cowboys, right? You bet. Is there anything about this just LA whole few days that you'll remember most? Um, not really. Um, I was hoping, you know, I was hoping it was going to be a win, but uh, you know, it's uh, at this point, it's it's uh, it's um, I'm just ready to get on to the next game. Tied up 72 all there in the third. What changed? Well, I think we were a little, uh, uh, how I can call it, uh, we hesitate a little bit too much on that third quarter. I think we were trying to do the right play. And like I always say, uh, we got to play basketball first. Um, if you open it yourself, we expect you to shoot the ball. And I think we were trying to do the right thing, trying to make the extra pass, but we turned down a few shots, like we were open shots. And uh, and after, you know, we know this team, they run, they hit threes, that's the way they play, but I think we got them under control for a little bit. Is that a result of overthinking right now? Is that what's going on? I think so. Mm -hmm. I really think we, we, I was telling the guys, like, you remember at the beginning when we got no place and you guys were just playing up and down? Play. We we'll figured you guys out. Uh, we need you guys to do that. Uh, just have fun out there. I feel like our energy are just because of that. Um, don't want it to be to make a mistake. Um, I always say when you make a mistake, just be because you're being aggressive, not like a soft mistake. So but I think we're learning. I think this game is going to be good for us. I know everybody's worried about stance or whatever, but we are in the right direction. Guys are doing the right thing, and sometimes this is happen when you do the right thing. Injury is not an excuse, and of course, it's certainly part of it right now for you guys. But how do you make up, especially for the big presence you're lacking right now? Well, everybody got to step up and, and try to to stay ready. Um, like today. It was myself with John Holland. It was Big C playing a lot of minutes, and I don't know what's going to happen next day. That's, that's what happened when you got like 15 games in 30 days or something like that, all the straight every other day. Mm -hmm. You really got no rest. Uh, we have to just stay ready. Hopefully, we get some guys back for the next game. What does that approach have to be in Phoenix? Well, you know, uh, we we got we just got to play our game. Uh, we, we cannot look at what they are, how they've been playing basketball. We got to get better ourselves. Mm -hmm. We got to get back to Cleveland Cavaliers basketball, the one we want to do. And, Phoenix or not right now, for us it doesn't matter. We gotta we gotta play better. Jose, I appreciate the time. Thank you. No problem. Third, what, what changed? I ain't here. After 72 all there in the third, what changed? I don't know. I gotta watch it. I mean, just like a a flurry of things, but you know, I just thought Randall had a good game. I thought he just out toughed us. You know, he bullied us the whole night, and we had no answer for him. Obviously, dealing with a lot of injuries right now, but the rebounding's been an issue most nights. You're not getting a lot out of your backcourt most nights. Where is your biggest area of concern right now? Um, just, hey, Shannon, how you doing, brother? You too, you too. Um, I think the rebounding hurts us. I think the physicality on the block, you know, um, not having as many big, having a double team to post a lot and scrambling around, but that's what we have to do right now. So no excuses. Um, you know, we got to continue to play better. And we got to be more aggressive, I think, offensively. We can't just settle for the three. I think teams are switching and closing out. We got time to put the ball on the floor and drive it and make another play, but we can't just settle for jump shots the whole game. I didn't think it was George. I thought IT. I mean, um, Jose. Jose had a tough time. Um, IT got a couple things in transition, a couple things on the pick and roll. Um, we knew he was going to be aggressive looking to score the basketball, and um, he played well tonight. Has it been easier to accept these losses knowing a month from now this is not the team? No, nah, we never accept losses. I mean, it's tough. I know we got a, you know, a lot of young guys playing in different lineups, but you know we still got to play better. 
Well, he could have been, you know, playing against his old team. And, um, you know, he came out early, got a couple good scores, and then they went to blitzing him on the pick and roll. So um, that's okay. I mean, it's fine. Just try to keep his head. We need him to score the basketball, be aggressive. And tonight they had a good game plan, trying to blitz him, take him out of the game.